Hi there, my name's Amy and I'm going to be guiding you through how to set up the features you've unlocked by subscribing to Gorgeous Automate. The first thing we need to do is make sure that we have an e-commerce store connected to our Gorgeous account. Today I'm using Shopify. So we go down to all apps or my apps. This is in the settings menu. And then for me, I can see I've got three different Shopify stores connected to this account. Bakehouse and Newtown are already set up, so today we're just working with Southside General Store. The next step is to set up our channels. I want to set up chat, a help center, and a contact form. I've already set these up under the channels menu, but I need to make sure that they're connected to the right Shopify store so that we can use Gorgeous Automate. There's plenty of material in our Help Centre webinars and in our academy on how to set these channels up, so we won't go through that today, but the main thing is to make sure that they're connected to the right store. To check, click on your chat instance and go to installation, and then make sure that the right store is connected to this instance. The same for Help Centre. We can find this in the Publish and Track tab. And then for Contact Form, you'll find this in your form under preferences. By connecting all of these to Southside General Store or to the Shopify integration for Southside General Store, we can now see these appear in Automate under channels. So these are all of the channels that are connected to that integration. So this is our chat, our help center and our contact form. These toggles that we can see here simply toggle on and off each gorgeous Automate feature for that particular channel. We can see here, for example, track and manage my orders. This is auto management. If I was to toggle this off or disable auto management for that channel, we can see it no longer appears there. The first feature we're going to look at is flows. Flows are multi-step automations. So you can set out a particular path for your customer journey that's specific to your business. To create a new flow, click create new flow, and then you'll see a bunch of templates. I want to use the warranty policy template today and here I can see all of the different options and paths that are available for a customer going through this journey. Click use template. Then here we can use this as is or click on these steps to change the options available. We do have different types of steps in flows. We have a trigger and this is the button that will be displayed in each selected channel. For example, the button in our chat widget would read, what's your warranty policy? This is where customers click to move through the flow. Next, we have our option steps, which we can see here. There are five types of option steps, multiple choice, which simply give you up to six different options, collect text reply, which lets your customer write in about whatever their issue is. This is particularly useful in something like a warranty policy, collect file upload, this lets your customer attach up to five files. Again, really useful for something like a warranty claim or a damaged item claim. Automated answers, which sends an automated answer back to your customer when they select a certain step. And order selections. This will display the last five orders for that customer and then they can select which order their inquiry relates to. Here we can see there's just a simple multiple choice. This tells customers that warranties vary by product and asks them to tell us a little more information about which product they're inquiring about. From here, we have three options, computers, phone, and keyboards. Now, based on whichever answer the customer gives us, there'll be a different automated answer that we send back. So we can see that there. At the end, we have two options. One is end flow, where a customer is asked for their feedback if the question was helpful. If they say yes, no ticket is created in Gorgeous. If they say no, a ticket is created in Gorgeous that includes all of their previous answers. So by the time this ticket gets to an agent, they already know what product they're inquiring about and anything else that happened in that path. The other option is create a ticket. This creates a ticket in Gorgeous that again includes all of the information from the path that customer's taken to get to that point. You can also add tags and choose to assign it to a certain person or team. Once you've finished customizing your flow, click Create Flow. We'll add another flow just for fun. So click Create Flow. And again, choose your template. Here we can see this option has a collect text reply step. 
And when you're done, click Create Flow. Now we can see in, for example, our chat channel, we have two options for these flows. We can toggle these on and off. The same is true for our help center and for our contact form. We'll take a look at examples of these at the end when we've set up all of the different features. Next, we move on to quick responses. These are similar to flows in that there's a question and an automated answer, but they're single step. So we can see there's no decision trees, there's no logic in here. It's simply a trigger with an answer. So we can turn this on, write our answer. Your response can include rich text formatting, hyperlinks, which we can see here, images, emojis, and Shopify product links. So remember that those options are available to you. Then once you've got your answer, click Save Changes. And we'll do the same for where can I get a discount. Once you've got your answer, click Save Changes. Now when we go back to our channels, we see that quick responses when turned on will make visible our two quick responses. If we turn these off, only our flows are left. Now you can have a maximum of six options here made up of flows and quick responses. For example, if I had four quick responses enabled and two flows enabled, that's fine. If I had five quick responses enabled, I could only have one flow because that fills up all six spaces. Next, let's move on to order management. This is made visible in chat as track and manage my orders or tiles if we're looking at it in a help center or contact form. Let's start with track order. When a customer clicks track, we'll display the key milestones for that shipment. So when it was packed, when it was shipped and when it was delivered. This information pulls directly from Shopify. There's also an option here to leave a response for any unfulfilled orders. And this is the message that you want to send to customers if they request tracking information before an order has been shipped. Again, you can use rich text formatting, links, images, emojis, and Shopify product links here if you want to. When you're done, click Save Changes. You can preview the customer experience on the right-hand side by clicking Preview. Now let's look at return order. When a customer goes through the return flow, it simply requests a return. It doesn't process this automatically for you. First, we need to set our eligibility window. This lets us dictate, depending on our policy, for which orders the return button will show. In my case, any order that was created less than 14 days ago is eligible for a return. If an order is outside this window, the return button simply won't show. It's a great way to make sure that you're only letting customers request a return for eligible orders instead of for all orders. Now we have two options for how we respond. Automated response simply lets us respond to them with a piece of text. In my case, I want to check that the order is unused, unopened and in original packaging. By automating this next step and asking them up front, it means by the time it gets to an agent, the agent not only has the order details, but also has confirmation that it's eligible because of the eligibility window and because we're asking them this question up front. The other option we have is if you have an integration like Loop Returns, we can simply send them to the Loop Returns portal and they can finish processing or requesting their return through there. I'm going with Loop, so we click Save Changes. It's a similar experience for Cancel Order. Customers going through the cancel flow won't be able to cancel their order automatically. They'll only be able to request a cancellation to be followed up by an agent. Same thing as returns. We want to make sure that this eligibility window matches our policy. In my case, people can cancel their order as long as it's unfulfilled. Again, similar to the return flow, we want to set up a message that will reply to the customer as soon as they request a cancellation for an eligible order. Once you're done, click Save Changes. Finally, let's look at report order issues. These are the options that will appear for customers if they click that report issue button next to an order. What we can do with these custom report issues or scenarios is make sure that the only possible reported issues 
are relevant to that order. For example, if we look at our refunded scenario. These are the issue options that I want available for customers if their order meets our conditions. So if an order has a financial status of partially refunded or refunded, and a customer clicks report issue on that order, these are the options that they will see, along with any other options that are also relevant. You can change the conditions or the issue options anytime you like by editing here, adding a new condition, or by changing the issues. For each issue option, you can enter response text. This is a message that will be sent to customers once they click, I didn't get my refund. For each of these, you can choose to toggle on or off, asking customers if the response was relevant. If they click yes, no ticket is created. If they click no, a ticket is created with all of the relevant information for an agent to follow up. You can edit any of the pre-filled scenarios in here or create a new scenario from scratch if you need to. Simply in your name, description, add your conditions for your order and then choose the issue options that will be displayed. Again, for each issue option, you can customize the message that's sent and choose to toggle on or off, asking customers if the response was relevant or not. For each of these types, track, return, cancel, or report order issue, you can toggle these on or off depending on what's relevant for your particular business. For example, I don't accept cancellations for this particular store, so I'm going to toggle off the cancel option. We can see it doesn't appear here in the tiles in our help center. Next, article recommendations. Here we want to select the help center that matches this particular store. The way that it works is very clever. If Gorgeous can detect the question a customer is asking and find the relevant answer in your help center articles, it will serve up that article within chat, which we can see here. Then ask the customer again if it was helpful or if they need more help. This is why it's critical to make sure that the right help center is connected to the right store. Now under channels, we can see we've got the option to toggle on article recommendations those auto management flows, quick responses, and our two flows up top. For a help center, we've got auto management flows and our regular flows. And then for contact form, the same thing, auto management flows and regular flows. You can see what these look like by clicking try it live. So we can see this is our contact form that includes those auto management flows and flows up top. My help center doesn't have any articles in it, so it looks a bit basic, but again, we can see all of those automate features up top. And for chat, you can see this on the right hand side. And that's setting up Gorgeous Automate. We have plenty of resources available in our help center, the academy, the community and our webinars. And we also have a wonderful support team and success team here ready to help. If you need a hand setting up any of these features, please reach out to your CSM if you have one. And if not, you can reach out to our support team at support at gorgeous.com. Head to our help center, chat with the team if you can, or book an office hours call. We are always here to help and we want you to get the most out of Gorgeous and the most out of Automate. Thanks so much for joining me. Enjoy.